And this is finally the face slash body paint tutorial that I promised you guys. Though I will be showing more of the face paint because I was kind of rushing that day. That's why I was only able to do the face paint and a bit of the neck. However, you can just apply the techniques that I will be showing you for the face to the rest of the body. Just a matter of, you know, doing it to the rest of your body. So, I have been doing face slash body paint since 2011 when my bro Raya introduced me to home stuff and that kind of involved having to paint yourself gray which was a big pain in the ass. But anyway, I've finally developed a method that I feel confident in sharing with you guys. But I could not have developed this method without the help of Gorgon SFX or Amadeo Beloved and Denise Grayson, which you guys should totally check out because they're freaking talented. Without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. First things first, you want a primer that will prolong the staying power of your paint. Your paint. I'm using Snazaru because it's the easiest to come by here just by the national bookstore. Some water. Your makeup setting spray. Your makeup sponges. Baby powder of your choice. And hairspray of your choice. Step 1. Prime your face. You do this to lengthen the staying power of your paint. So just dot your primer all over your face and using either your clean hands or clean brush, spread it evenly. Step 2. Set it all with some setting spray, again to lengthen the staying power. Now wet your sponge and stipple on your paint. Stipple it, don't spread it, because spreading it will cause a splotchy application, making it really uneven, and not to mention, as opposed to actually stippling it on, your skin won't absorb the paint as well. Now stipple it all over your face and areas like your nose and your ears and your chin and actually everywhere else where your skin will be shown. Now I didn't paint everything here on the neck because I was kind of rushing that day so I'm sorry. Then set it all with some powder products. I prefer doing the contouring and the blush before actually powdering it with the baby powder because it makes it less cakey. But your choice, maybe you have oilier skin and you might need the more powder. Lastly, set it all with a buttload of hairspray. And I encourage you to go crazy so it sets like hell. And there you have it! You are now done and your paint is transfer free! Yay! And that's essentially how you do your face slash body paint. Now before I end this video, let me leave you guys with three important tips that are really vital for me. So the first tip is you guys should apply your makeup or your face paint or body paint in a cool environment because the last thing you want is your sweat mixing in with your face paint while you're trying to apply it because that will lead to a splotchy application. The second technique is try to apply your eye makeup first, especially if your face paint involves something that's really light in color or pastel color and especially if, it, if it's white because if your eye makeup is going to be dark and smoky, that thing is going to fall off your face. Not to mention, if you do apply your, your face paint for and snazaru for the most part, on your eyelids, the texture of Snazaru tends to be really emollient, meaning it's going to crease like hell. So just go with a regular primer and just do your eye makeup. And if you see little bits of, you know, skin, just gently dab it with face paint with maybe a Q-tip so that you can really cover that area well. Third step, and the final one, which to me personally is the most important step, and that is to contour and to highlight. When you apply your face paint or your body paint, your features will be immensely flattened. That's why it's really important to ba add back the dimensions of your face. Now for contouring, just go one to two shades darker, or for highlighting, just go one to two shades lighter of the shade of your paint. Now for example, you go with white face paint. Don't go with black, that's gonna be harsh as hell. Go with a light gray or, you know, a medium gray so that your contour will be more natural. And yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that this really helped or gave you an idea on how to do your face paint or your body paint. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! That, what kind of... Mwah!